Hello everybody, welcome back to Hollywood Sports. Guys, I didn't want to drown you with too many videos yesterday, but I had one more video to do today. I did three videos yesterday regarding Ultimate Team. And uh, you know, we talked about player upgrades. We talked about, you know, I told you about that. We talked about solo battles when it comes to the new Ultimate Team for Madden NFL 19. And we talked about squads challenges, basically mutt squads. And so I have one more feature to tell you about, but I just wanted to save it for today. And it's basically, uh, there are a few other important things worth touching on, worth talking about when it comes to Ultimate Team. Now, in addition that all of Madden, all the community of Madden will benefit from, and that's the inclusion of seven new specialist positions. In Ultimate Team, there are seven new specialist positions. Now, guys, want, before I finish this video, before I go on and continue, I want you guys to understand. I've been getting a few comments about, oh, Hollywood, you're trying to pump up the game. Oh, Hollywood, you're trying to get people to buy the game. Guys, that's, that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm excited for the game, and I'm trying to share the information, guys. And I'm just enthusiastic. If you haven't noticed by now, I'm just an enthusiastic person. It's hard for me to explain things and be excited or something about something and talk monotone. So let me get that straight, guys. I'm not trying to promote the game. I'm not trying to get everybody pumped up about the game because I don't know nothing about the game. I haven't seen the game. I don't know nothing about this game. And like I told y'all in my previous video, I'm not going to get over excited about what they're talking about in this game, Mad 19, because marketing knows how to get you excited. Mike marketing knows how to get you pumped up and Rick and I know you guys are pumped up and I know I'm pumped up but we can't let it go to our heads guys we can't do anything at least I'm not let me speak for myself I'm not gonna do anything exciting to try to do or, or really get my hopes up over this game until I get my hands on the title guys okay so I'm tired of people talking about oh Hollywood you trying to pump up the game oh Hollywood you did that last year oh Hollywood you said that last year yeah I did but I'm not going to make that mistake this year, guys. Right now, what I'm doing is just sharing information about the game. And sure, I'm excited. I have hope that hopefully this is going to be the game we, we get and we're happy with. But guys, just let me get back to it. And there are new specialist positions. Sorry to get off on that rant, but I had to straighten a few people out. In the lineup screen, you will see some new options. In addition to third down halfbacks that will help you get the players you want in the right position on the field in specific formations. Again, guys, I like this, but I hope they deliver. I hope they deliver. Okay, now let's talk about them. There's one called rush right left defensive end. Rush right left defensive end. Okay. It's one of the specialist positions. Another specialist position is run, I mean rush defense tackle. So I guess there are gonna be players in those certain specialist positions on your ultimate team. The next one is slot cornerback. Slot cornerback is another specialist position. And then we have sub linebacker. Sub linebacker, I'm pretty sure we're gonna learn more about what all this means guys. But I'm just relaying it to you. There's a lot of new changes in Ultimate Team this year. Okay, the next one is called a power halfback. It's one of the new specialist positions, the power halfback. And then there's a slot wide receiver. Okay, man, it sounds good, guys. It sounds good. I just hope all this stuff comes together. I hope it works. You know, I think what they're trying to do, they're trying to put a new spice on Ultimate Team. Um, they're trying to uh, bring something different. Um, you know, we always say we want them to be intuitive. Uh, not really intuitive. What's the word? Uh, innovative. They want pe they want EA to be innovative. Okay, I think this is one of the things they're trying to be innovative about when it comes to Ultimate Team. Let me repeat those uh, those uh, seven positions again. The new specialist positions. There's a rush right, left defensive end. A rush defensive tackle, a slot corner, a sub linebacker, a power halfback, and a slot wide receiver. All right, now it says, I'll save the deep dive for the future blog, 
but at high level but at a high level these positions were created so that the gameplay could tag formations with these new specialist positions so for instance instead of having to manually sub a defensive end down to defensive tackle out of out of nickel just assign that player to your rush defensive tackle slot and he'll already be there every time you call a nickel defense again that's another form of streamlining this thing guys making it simple so you don't have to make so many adjustments before the play again let me read that one more time it says these positions were created so that gameplay could tag formations with new specialist positions so I guess, guess you can put guys in specialist positions and you don't have to keep, always keep switching. They'll always be set up. Instead of having to manually sub a defensive end down to defensive tackle out of the nickel, just assign that player to your rush defensive tackle slot. Okay? That was one of the spe specialist positions. Just assign them down to your defensive tackle uh, out of the nickel. Just assign that player to your rush defensive tackle slot and he'll already be there every time you call the nickel defense all right everybody another improvement um, to mutt this year is the lineup screens if you look at the lineup screen guys um, it's a little let me read it it says since we're on the topic of mutt lineup screens we should discuss some changes we made there First of all, we felt like there was too much depth. There's no reason to have positions like offensive linemen needed three total players per position or five kick punt return slots uh, for positions. Let me show you guys. What I'm talking about is if you look at the lineup screen right there um, that I got on the screen, um, you show it shows, shows the left tackle. There's three left tackles, three left guards. There's three centers, three right guards three right tackles and three tight ends and what they're saying guys they don't need that many positions same thing uh, they may need that many wide receivers but they're talking about the offensive line and it says there are new 25 slots on the offense and 25 more on the defense that account towards chemistry now on the current stream screen that we have right now the current lineup screen for mutt there's a uh, 34 offensive slots and there's 32 defensive slots so what they're saying is they're gonna have 25 slots for defense and 25 slots for offense because they are saying you don't need all those extra slots you don't need three left tackles most likely you're never gonna use three left tackles maybe two if somebody gets hurt but that's what they're saying guys so they're they're slimming it down from 34 on offense to 25 on offense and from 32 on defense to 25 slots on defense it says as long as you are playing someone in their natural position they will be contributing contributing to your team even if they never see the field so that's important guys you know most likely we're going to stick with our, our our starting rotation and our depth chart number one quarterback number one center number one right guard number one right tackle our number one halfback our number you know we're going through our uh, wide receivers one two three four and five you know our number one fullback and so most likely you're not going to need all those guys in the depth chart right you know like halfback they're going to allow three halfbacks uh three quarterbacks no wait no you know two quarterbacks it's going to be quarterback one, quarterback two, and they're going to have three halfbacks, halfback one, halfback two, halfback three, and two fullbacks. So you see what I'm saying? And they're going to go through one through five on their wide receivers. So they're saying even if your guys never touch the field, they're still going to contribute to the team based on their chemistry. Chemistry. So they will be con contributing to your team even if they never see the field. It says this does... <clears throat> This does mean that tiers of chemistry will take more players to activate in order to balance out having so many more chemistry slots than last year's past. I don't understand that completely, but I do understand they're, they're lessening the slots. <clears throat> 
excuse me guys I gotta drink some water my throat I've been doing so many videos lately <clears throat> Woo! excuse me guys and it sounds like it's not getting any better but anyway um, so even if you never use the guys in your positions and those your, your, your second string guys third string guys they still contribute to the chemistry of your team so I guess it's gonna be more of team chemistry than it is chemistry like towards the players everybody's gonna balance out for team chemistry it said this means that tiers of chemistry will take more players to activate in order to balance out having so many more chemistry slots than last year's all right guys I hope you understood that um, obviously we're gonna learn more as we go more as we play the game I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you're new to the channel guys hit that subscribe button join the team of Hollywood sports and we can all do it together guys and hopefully everything will come true on what they're saying about Madden NFL 19 and as always Hopefully, I will see everybody that's watching this video on my next video. Thanks for watching.